There you are. Let's see what you've gotten yourself into this time, Marcos. Boss, I, I keep telling you, you, you can't do that. Why? It's my farm. I can plant what I want. The grapes will die here. All of them. You have to forget what you know about the past, my friend. Together, we will revolutionize winemaking. Believe me, you will look back on this day and... Cassandra, thank the gods. Phoebe thinks found you in time. About grapes. I can still hear you. I was worried sick. The Cyclops sent his scum to find you. I think they mean you harm. I wish you would have told me that before they hit me. But that's beside the point. You bought a vineyard, Marcos? A vineyard? Why not? I like wine, you like wine, everybody likes wine. Everybody buys wine. Why not from me? Because you don't know how to grow grapes or make wine? I'm a fast learner. You grow grapes on the vine, then you get some wine. <laughs> is that simple, is it? You know me better than to think I don't have a plan. Marcos always has a plan. All right. Then do you have the money you owe me? Do I have the money I owe you? Of course, of course. Well, no, not at the moment. Then get it. Instantly, my friend, instantly. But uh, maybe you should do that. There is a merchant in Sammy. I'm not very good at these things, as you know. You want me to collect my own debt? It's just waiting for you and Sammy, my friend. Who's the merchant? Zuris. You know Zuris. He's very nice. Zuris? Again? Why do you keep lending him money? He's a loyal friend. I don't want his family to starve. You're a good friend, but you're bad with money. He'd better have my money, Marcos. I'd hate to have to sell our vineyard. Of course he will. Oh, after, there's another matter I want to discuss with you. After. Fine, but I'm taking a horse. It's too hot and too long a walk to go on foot. But... Think of it as interest, Marcos. Everybody benefits. Of course, my friend. You shall have your pick. about this one the skiros you have an eye for sturdy stock my friend that horse can cling to mountain passes like a goat the one in the middle tell me about it ah you have picked a beauty my friend that horse is from the salonia bred for its courage I like the look of the one on the right. Ah, the Macedonia. These are bred for battle. A true warrior's horse. I've made my choice. Which one will it be? That one. On the right. Ah, uh, a, a fine choice. But this particular breed has a few quirks that you might not be aware of. I wouldn't want you to take an unworthy horse. This is the one I want. Are you sure? Because I'm sure, Marcos. Everybody benefits, especially you. You've chosen the great Phobos. He's never let me down. 
Phobos. Remember, meet me at the temple in Sami when you have uh, your money from Duris. Ah, F. Terpi. There's plenty of wine left to buy. Don't fret. Not now, you fool. Phoebe has been taken. By who? Thugs of the Cyclops. Who else? Snatched her right off the main road. Tell me where they went. In the direction of Itimena Beach. The beach? Can she swim? I'll get her. Yes, go. But don't forget about dear Duris, Cassandra. Move. Let's go. I'll sneak up on the Malikes. Or I'll tighten those ropes. She'll make good ransom drachmi for the Cyclops. No one's gonna buy me from you. They're all poor. Keep quiet, Phoebe. This tall grass will keep me hidden. My like is get away. That had better stop. That Marcos is going to be next. Are you all right? It wasn't so bad. Last time they put a cloth in my mouth so I'd stop biting. Phoebe, just be careful. You're alone now since... Since my parents died? I'm okay. I've got you and you've got me and Marcos. We're your family, right? Uh, 
You'll have to be stronger than that. Don't give in! Let him have it! Got you. <laughs> Again! Up! Yes, Father. Spartan rises as soon as they have fallen. Ready your stuff. Widen your stance. A soldier grounds themselves. Hmm? Good. Good. Uh. Approach me. That's enough, Nikolaus. The sun's going down. Time to eat, don't you think? <laughs> Tonight. tonight we are having baby Alexios. <laughs> and what a feast he will be. No, not him. Take me instead. I'm tasty. Yes, yes, you're all sweet as honey. Now, come inside. The lamb's turning black. Here. Lay him in his bed. Yes, Pater. Cassandra. You are my greatest pride. Remember that. You will bring this family to glory. Go. Right. You worry too much. <laughs> you don't worry enough. We'll be all right if we watch out for each other. Which reminds me, the thug said you should watch your back. what they say? They said the Cyclops put a big bounty on you. Talos the Stonefist wants you dead. Talos the mercenary? Am I ever not in trouble? Better get him before he gets you. I hear he's really mean. I'll find my way back to town. Here! Talos the Stone Fist has just what I need today. Another broken nose. I'm going to have to take care of that.
Sami, the race will be at his shop. <laughs> Off we go now. Hello, Luris. Business looks good. Tell Marcos to come down here himself, if he wants his money. Huh? Ah, but I'm here now. Look, I was a little late paying. Now Marcos says I owe him double because of interest. I don't have it to spare. You should have thought of that when you borrowed Drachmi, Luris. But my family... It's hot. I'm in a bad mood. And you are going to pay. We both know it. Now the question is, what do I break first? You? Or your merchandise? You told Marcos I've paid enough already. I won't bow to... to... to a mercenary. Or to someone foolish enough to borrow money from the Cyclops. From the Cyclops? That's how he bought his vineyard? Look, I know you'd be dead without Marcos. What with him taking you off the street as a kid. But you know what he's doing is crazy. Malaka. Still, that doesn't change the drachmi you owe. Face it, once the Cyclops gets hold of you, You'll both be dead. Cassandra, good to see you. Mine is yours. Just leave. Pleasure doing business with you, Luris. Keep my name off your lips. I don't want the Cyclops coming after me for the debt you can't pay. Got a job with you, Cassandra? Ride, Phobos! Come on. Running out of time until the Cyclops comes for you, Malaka. He wants his money. Could I have an extension? When he sails back to Kefalonia, he'll come and break you as soon as he docks, if you don't get it. Now, let's be civil. 
You can't hide behind your glories, Mistios forever, Marcos. He'll kill you, the mercenary, and that little runt girl that hangs around. Of course, not a problem. I'll get the drachmi. Good. Or I'll come and watch the Cyclops feed you to his goats. Ah, Cassandra, I can tell from the smile on your face, Duris has paid you your drachmi. Who's smiling? I just heard where you got the drachmi for the vineyard. Are you out of your fucking mind? We can get the money back, can't we? I'm sure it's possible. It will take a lot of work. And even then, I'm not sure. We have no option but to try! Then you'd better be willing to help. I won't do all the dirty work. <sighs> I long for the old days. Remember them? They were simple. You had nothing, young and alone, and I had everything. And I gave you the world, Kefalonia, in the palm of your hand! Don't see fishes like you every day, huh? <laughs> oh! Ha! You hungry? How about we make a deal? I do something for you. You do a few things for me. Everybody wins. Best offer you're gonna get. Huh? Think about it. Wait! <laughs> Kefalonia. <laughs> Some gift. You were nothing without Marcos. And look how far we've come. From an orphan on the streets to a Mistios with a Havel. And now the Cyclops will take everything away. I can't protect you from him forever. He'll kill me too. Oh, don't be scared of him. And look at you! How could I go up against him? With what weapons? A rusty spear? A broken bow? There you are. Skulking around the temple won't save you from me, Marcos. Drusilla! I was just talking about you. You were? I need that wood, Marcos. These new bows will be the talk of the island. I can't make anything with those bandit malakes stopping the wood shipments. Of course you can't. Why, I was just filling my friend Cassandra in on the details. She already has a plan to deal with these bandits. I don't know what you're talking about. Of all the fucking phonies, Marcos! Oh, she's just playing. It's a little game we have. I don't care who does it, but someone better got those bandits. Today! A wonderful idea. I, for one, uh, need to rush home. Cassandra, I've cooked up a plan for our Cyclops dilemma. See me when you have time. If you want your wood, you'll have to fix my broken bow first. Hmm. I usually only pay when the deed is done, but shit's moving at a snail's pace. Follow me. These balls will make me rich as Chrysos. 
They're that good, are they? Wars brewing. The Athenians need good bows if they want to hold off the Spartans. Everybody benefits, I guess. Who are you? Marcos? You should be tired of this small time shit. You'd make a fortune in this war. Plus, I hear you're a secret Spartan. That was a long time ago. I'm a Kefalonian. Hand it over. There you go, good as new. That bow is as strong as Heracles himself. Give it a try. Shoot your arrow at those dummies! Time for a ride. Sammy, I wonder if we'll be able to leave without getting into a brawl. Who am I kidding? This place never changes. And not a moment too soon. The Cyclops is more important than a boyer. We need to talk. Precisely what I was thinking. Let's hope Drusilla has a good sense of humor. Well, your plan? Right. The Cyclops and I have a score of Drachmi to settle. The same score as you, my rough and tumble friend. He wouldn't be after me if it wasn't for you, my friend. <laughs> right. But I swear. This will put an end to it. 
If he insists on sending his goons after us, we'll make sure his last good day was yesterday. Let's hear it then. What do I have to do? What will we do, you mean? As the brains to your brawn, I consider it a joint effort. Of course you do. Think, what does the Cyclops value most? His men? His land? His ships? No, his obsidian eye. Get to the point, Marcos. Oh, fine. We're going to steal it. Are you crazy? You borrow his drachme, then you steal his eye? Having it means we win. Then it goes to market. We kill two birds with one obsidian eye. <laughs> He'd better hold still. Or he'll lose both eyes. No, no! It has to be done without the Cyclops knowing. You cannot be seen. Then my new bow will come in handy. He keeps the eye in his house. It's too valuable to wear out. A wise choice until you show him the error of his ways. Wait for the sun to set, sneak in, and then bring me the eye. Better be worth something. Do you know how much obsidian goes for in Kefalonia? I've never seen it. Exactly. And not only is it obsidian, it's veined with gold. Gold! It's no wonder he saves it for special occasions. So we'll use the profits to pay him off. It will pay for the bulk of it. A vineyard's expensive, you know. I don't know where the Cyclops lives. Keep to the west side of the island. There, you will find his lair. Fine. But you won't get away with being cheap. Cheap? You wound me, Cassandra. It's your defining trait. Bring me the eye and I'll prove you wrong. Remember, not a soul can see you. Got it. Pull this off and our heads won't be the Cyclops' trophies when he comes back. As valuable as Marco says, it'll be hidden. Let's go. Ella.
Glow eye. I see you. I'll be on high alert here. I need cover. If I'm quiet, I can hide in the bushes.